Okay, I hope you can hear me. I'm using my other Bluetooth. I got one of these uh, towers. Multi-plant towers. It's from Amazon. I bought it with my own money. Um, I'm not endorsing it because I don't know that it works. But basically, I uh, bought some t uh, strawberry plants. And, well, the mail carrier thought they should go in the mailbox in the freezing cold all night. So, this is basically what I ended up with. And I'm trying to save them even though the company is sending me out new ones. So what I have done is hydrated them as best as I could. A little bit of hydrogen peroxide. So, what I'm going to do is plant them. And I already started by putting about a third of the soil in here because it's really important that you spread out the plant itself, the root system, as much as possible, which is really hard for me to do with one hand. Anyway, we're gonna spread this root system out as much as possible. I think the peroxide killed off most all of any rot or anything it had. But basically, I'm just going to put it in here like so, and then build up the dirt around it. It's very important. This part here, the crown, you do not want to bury. A little bit of the root sticking out on top is not bad, but if you bury the crown, it's likely to mold and die. So what I'm going to do is situate one of these in here, and then I'll come back and I'll show you when I'm all done with this one here because I have to pot all three of them. And you know, when you get plants in the mail, I found that this is a common occurrence. It happens and you have to try your best. There is one plant, I can't hold this thing still. There is one thing plant in particular I really want to have, but not the way my mail carrier delivers my mail right now. So I will be right back. Let me get this in. Okay, I think this might work. I'm going to show you how I did it in there. And I'm going to take these dead things off. I'm trying to stay out of the camera because I am a hot mess. So I'm going to spread them out as much as possible. And then I'm just going to add dirt. up around it and kind of build it up around it. These things say that you can water from the top and it'll water everything. I don't know about that. We're going to find out. So basically, see, I'm going to make sure I keep the crown on the top. Some of these are still soaking. But see, some of them still have a little bit of life in them. And I'm probably going to be quiet because I'm going to speed this up a little bit. You know, when you grow strawberries, this is the ever bearing. Um, you're not going to get a whole lot of strawberries your first year. Some people say to go ahead and cut the uh, blossoms and the fruit off. Some people say it doesn't really matter. I'm not so sure. We'll see. We have more plants to come in to play with. But I'm going to go back to being quiet so I can speed this up for you. Okay, some people think I'm rough with my plants, but um, I'm really not. I just uh, expect them to kind of, well, especially when they're in this kind of shape, they gotta be tough. But you see, 
I kept the uh, crowns above ground. And I can always add more dirt if it looks like they don't have enough. But it's better to have less and add more than to add more and have them rot. Now, what I'm going to do is continue to just fit, you know, pretty much just like that. If I don't have it too thick in the middle. So I'm just going to continue and then I'll come back when I'm done and we'll water. Okay, now I got Tara 2 done, or level 2, and I'm trying to keep the crowns above. When we water, we'll be able to see a little bit better. And the, the reason why they got ruined by leaving them in the mailbox is because it was freezing cold. And so they sat in there and froze all night. It's not the first time, but it happens. And it happened to me with my cyclamen, which wasn't delivered by the US Postal Service, but it doesn't really matter. A lot of times things will get whacked in the mail and there is a lot of really good people out there with a lot of good advice. And when I show you my cyclamen and how I fixed it, um, I'll link her below in the comments because without her, I wouldn't have been able to save them. So now I'm going to do the top part here, and then I'll come back. Probably have to rearrange the camera a little bit. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to hold it. Because we're going to water it in and see how well this works. And of course, I'm using purified water. I just want to see what's going to happen there first because I don't want a big mess all over my floor. But I don't see it coming down into the pan. Anyway, on all of your stuff that gets thrown away, you should use it for mulch. But if you see, I tried as best as I could to make sure that the crown is above. And then we're just going to continue to water this in. It might take a little while. So I may come back. I'm just interested to see if it's going to really water the lower part too. And I really want to expose those crowns. Make sure I don't have them buried. Well, I don't see him coming down here. Anyway, I'm going to finish watering that in. But there you have it. And that is 12, is that right? 12 little plants. And hopefully, they're going to go under the grow light. So they'll be, they'll have more light. But uh, hopefully we'll have some strawberries. But that's my video for you today. I know it's not that pretty. But hopefully it will be in time. I didn't link in the description below where I bought it from. Or how you can get it. Because you can get them at the Dollar Tree as well. Or Dollar Store. I paid a lot for this. I might add a little bit more soil. But I'm just going to continue to water it in. And we'll check on it as time goes by. You have a wonderful day, and I will as well. Talk to you later. Bye.